Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching 46 Okanen, and I'm sorry about the last several episodes, the sound, the audio, I'm sorry, I know it was quiet, I know a lot of you had to turn your volume way, way up, I know you suffered, but I've turned the game down a little bit, and I've pulled my mic closer, it is a very sensitive piece of equipment, so I've tried to have it a little farther away from me, but hopefully this is better for you, if it's not, let me know, I'll keep fine-tuning it, but we need to go find the Yeti. We need to, we're, we heard something last time about Shambhala, some kind of paradise. There's a tunnel beneath the surface we have to find, but the guy who knows everything, who I assume is the Yeti they were talking about, he is not in his usual stomping grounds. They said the kind soul in the northern snows maybe knew it was up. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna do some voyaging out in the snow. Hopefully I can find him without too much trouble. Uh, that might be a little too far north, but if I can get back to the pool real quick. Purifying myself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka is always a good idea. We're gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and... I've saved fairly recently, so I'm gonna just go as far north as I can. I'm just gonna trudge through the snow and the water and stuff, and that is about as far north as I can go. I thought there was more to it than that. Well, we seem to be in... The Arctic. Uh, okay, so let's load. Okay, we're gonna have to find the Yeti. He's somewhere in the snow. Maybe if we go around the way here. I was trying to avoid fighting things, but I don't think we're gonna be able to put it off much longer. This is not the place I wanted to go, but they seem happier now. Maybe we should talk to them real quick. I heard you finally beat them. The scout told us all about it. Oh, the elder is waiting. Okay, there we go. That's that's somebody to talk to. That should be prove useful. Can't go over there. We have to climb up the vines. We are the king of swing. We're going up the mountain, and it's all good. Everything is good in the herbivorous part. See, if you just learn to respect other cultures, uh, everything will go a lot better for you. They won't have to send me in to do all the dirty work. What up, elder? I think you're the middle one, correct? The scout told me about everything you did. And then some, yeah, told us about the uh, scarring nudity, all that good stuff. Knew you'd be able to help us. Bring it here. This will protect you from the cold. Finally, something should make the trip north more bearable. Please take it. You've obtained fur, which is, again, not reflected in the picture of myself down there. We are indebted to you. Come see us anytime you wish. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, Thanks, son. I think you need to invent a little something more than fur. I'm starting to get a little afraid this game is going to get me in trouble, actually. <laughs> there is no longer any fear in the faces of the herbivorous primates. They can live their vegan lifestyle in peace, as they should be able to. They'll be able to live in peace from here on out and likely establish a good society, which is definitely points at the end for us. Definitely get more points on our mission score for that. So now we have fur. We will probably, hopefully, not be great. You can live in peace. How about you live in uh, getting out of my dang way from time to time? That would be very useful. That if you wanna, if you wanna live in peace, stay out of my way. That's a good way to do it. So let's. As you leave the village, you see countless black shapes in the northern sky. Sounds like the Lunarians are coming. They split in two and headed to the eastern and western horizons. So there's fire in the mountains. I wonder if fire is a way of, like, keeping you away from places that you're not supposed to go yet. I'm a little... Probably don't want to wear my fur in the desert, but... Okay, let's go... Let's go around. See what the world has to offer us. Okay, here are monsters. Here be monsters. Okay, that's a Gorgon. Is it still a bad idea? We're still less powerful than they are. I don't think we want to play around in the Gorgon. Um, no. I want away from you. How did he get there? He, wow. Okay, so I think the desert is free of Gorgons. I want to stay away from them. Okay, snow is safe now. Very good. So what, ah, a big shiny light. Anything else though, now that we can roam free? No, I think it's just the big shiny light that is important here. The big shiny light and <laughs> surrounded by a square of grass. Gaia's voice flowed into your mind. Is Gaia the Yeti? That's quite the look. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Gaia's into it. You certainly gained much in wisdom. Yes, if I'm killing animals for fur, but 
We'll talk about that later. Now, about recent events, a ship containing tens of thousands of Lunarians has arrived, as I suspected. They seem to have received the 200 million year old signal from their brethren and have made the 200 million year long journey through light and time to us. They've learned their lesson in trusting Lucifer, so here we go. We've got the Moon Men on our side. Don't want to build a civilization that doesn't go down that path again. And yet, there are two causes for concern. First is, why did the Lunarian ships split up and head east and west? I don't know. Maybe you've got factions with different philosophies. One decided to settle in the east, one decided to settle in the west for different reasons. Maybe they don't like looking at each other or something. And did the devil meet them on their way here? Maybe they haven't learned such a lesson after all. The entrance to Shambhala, which leads to the continents of Atlantis and Mu, Mu has opened. So, okay. Which continent is which on the map there? Uh, maybe the big one where Hawaii is there. Maybe that's supposed to be Atlantis. I don't know where Mu is supposed to be exactly. My child, would you go on checking them? Shambhala is in the mountain ranges to the south. Oh, uh, so now we have to go there. That's... That's no good. Hey, what's this? Oh, going in the water still hurts, but, uh, any, any other? Shambhala's in the mountain range to the south. Okay, fine. Nothing, nothing else. No. Okay, so here we go. We have a good little hiding spot right here, so if anyone decides to come across the way, and I don't think they're going to, because, oh, hey, this water. Okay, so all water seems to be good to me now, no matter what. Okay. Well, all water in that direction. Maybe that's Gaia's influence, you know? Maybe Gaia was like, water is good. Okay, well, not that... Oh, hey, there we go. Hey, a huge earthquake. We got some jeans. It's been a while since I got to spin some jeans. Okay, so everything has been shut off here. So I can't accidentally wander into the bad territory. Let's go in before we spin some jeans. Maybe we can get some uh, Gaia hearts in here. There is now a towering mountain range in the middle of nowhere. Alright, you couldn't know this, but the Indian subcontinent had rammed into Eurasia. I don't need things ramming into my Asia. That's my Asia. This caused the creation of enormous Himalayan mountain range. So we're up in the Himalayas now. So we are in the... Ah, here we go. Oh, these... Well, they looked like Gaia's hearts. But we have these weird little portals in the Himalayas. This must be another maze. Is this Shambhala? No clue, man. I just want to get home. I have no idea which way I came from it. Oh, great. Oh, so navigating the maze it is. So this guy walking around. Probably trouble. Dinosaur man attacks. Well, I can take on dinosaur men. I'm pretty confident. Yeah, they do slightly... They do a slight amount of damage to me. Alright, he's defending. 208 genes per kill. Excellent. Oh, hey, we got football head here. What is, what does this guy want? An imp attacks. We could have evolved into an imp with a pointy, uh, <laughs> midsection. All right. Oh, imps are not as bad at, ooh. Hey, loving all the desperate attacks. The more I attack desperately, the better off I am in the long run. And I've got a nice little recovery spot here. This may be the place if I can walk back and forth. Little peeking attacks. Okay. Oh, wow. Even weaker than the other two. Usually about the... Th I seem to have gamed the system somehow. Usually I get a desperate attack on the third attack with most. And from there on, it kind of plays out the same way no matter what. So enemies are just going to funnel in from the left and the right. We should probably take some time to destroy some before we navigate the maze here. Uh, navigating the maze, of course, probably not the best idea on camera because the mazes in this game are super... Lizard man attacks. Boy, he's got a sword. Uh, he looks ready to fight. He was very fast as well. The lizard man is even weaker than all the others. What the... <laughs> The enemies just get weaker and weaker and weaker, but they give me the same amount of genes, which I am perfectly okay with. Come here, Mr. Big-Headed Imp Man. Imp Man made a mistake today, turning his back on me. I'm gonna fight him, and I'm gonna grind, grind, grind before I get going through the uh, Himalayan portals here. Alright, I've evolved in a Wisdom direction, and that's gonna take me down to the next tier, which is Homo Barbarian, which should be pretty hefty. Oh, man. That is the most Yeti-looking thing yet. 
It had a tough body, that's all we know about Homo Barbarian, and that it was aggressive and lived in small numbers in the mountains. Time to be a mountain man, oh yeah, I'm about to get r Oh, hey, I didn't want to leave the place. The mountains are my home, that's where I belong, I need to stay here. Alright, Endurance has made us a Homo Sapien. That sounds pretty normal sounding. Ah, and it's a nice little mustache if I do say so myself. This species is said to be the last stage in human evolution. Said to be. I'm pretty sure there's one more chapter in this game where things are going to get pretty wacky. Uh, I don't know if there are six chapters for sure, but... Uh, cultured and split between many different races across all regions. Very nice. Okay, whatever we evolve when we go left is what we're going to be stuck as for the rest of the chapter. Will we go one left and be Homo sapiens, or will we hit that far left side? We're going to hit that far left side. We will evolve into elfins. Oh, man. What? What? I'm Link now? That's the thing. I wish I got to hold the sword and the shield. That'd be sweet. But I think we're just an elf man now. Short and thin-framed. Lived in simple villages. Built in forests. Had a knack for hypnotism. So yeah, uh, let's see. 12,208 is the absolute cap for for any stat in this chapter. So I can't go any harder on vitality or attack. I couldn't even if I wanted to right now. Unless I had something like 12 leftover genes. So yes, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll stick with this. And I'm pretty much done grinding almost. But now that I'm an elf... Oh, I got unlucky by a Neanderthal. That's interesting. I haven't gotten unlucky attacked for a while in here, but that it's not really a problem, I don't think. The only real problem is I seem to have chosen a form that moves extremely fast. So that is that could kick us in the butt. But yeah, now I'm really kicking things in the pants. So just got to get up my endurance a little. It's probably time to start going through that maze. What did you think? After we fight a lizard man here. Oh, they're doing like nothing to us currently. It would, Yeah, it would take an unlucky attack for it to even do a dang thing. Lizard man comes right at me. Lizard man, you're brave. I'm doing something like almost 12 times as much damage as you are. Okay, let's just start going through doors. Let's, let's figure this out. Okay, we're going to go through the Himalayas now as a, as an elf. This is actually, this makes this canonically a Zelda dungeon. I'm declaring it right here, right now. There we go, we made it out. Such dynamic dungeons this game is possessed of. But now we're at some kind of ziggurat. What is going on here? Ooh, a new song with troops walking around. We are warriors of God. We are invincible. Oh... The hubris. Take that. Strike, strike. One, two, one, two. Okay, well, he's just going to keep talking to me if I don't move. Or if I move too quickly. Okay. Looks like ugh, these these shapes. Well, that statue doesn't have seven wings, so I'm not, not too afraid of it right now. Land where long ago children of God descended from the heavens. This isn't a place for brutes. So how dare you call me a brute? I would take that very personally as an elf. Kill all moo. Oh, so we got a crowd here. Are we going to get into some kind of gladiator fight? Well, good thing I am thusly equipped. All right. Now is the time to show our god, the great Lucifer. That's Lucifer, probably totally different from Lucifer, right? Show him the power of Orichalcum. Uh-oh. What is the power of Orichalcum? Listen well. The word of our emperor is the word of God. So his word is gospel. Kill, kill. Faster, pussycat. The emperor is a child of God. All who defy him shall receive divine punishment. I think I'm not going to be the one receiving divine punishment today. So let's... So if we... I kind of want to tool around here for a little bit now. But it looks like I'm going to be forced into this by my fleet feet. Holy Warriors of Atlantis, God has spoken. The time is now. Will dispose of all evil and rises the chosen rulers of the world. Now, if I remember correctly, the thing about Atlantis is it sank into the ocean. So I don't think this is going to work out for you very well. Admittedly, that requires some foreknowledge I'm not supposed to have, but, you know, hindsight is 2020. So what should we do? The better civilization should depose the other. Something about the environment. 
I think it skipped, and use the planet's energy in a clockwise rotation. The true path is one of destruction and control. Ah, sounds like you've been brainwashed by Lucy, daughter of the devil. Power flows counterclockwise. I did not know that. Is that is that a scientific thing? Power flows counterclockwise all the time? What about in the northern hemisphere? Destruction is true beauty. The desolation of all things is natural providence. Haven't we heard someone say that before? My people, look there. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. This is a faction of Lunarians. Okay, I can't... I believe I didn't put two and two together before, because they've been talking about there's one in the eastern continent, one in the western continent. Their guns are, uh, certainly suggestive of something or the other, to say nothing of their tales. Who could possibly oppose such power? Maybe the hero of time, perhaps? Go with our god, Lord Lucifer. Death to the Moo. Okay, so they've got some, they've got a nice little cannon set up here. Uh, but can I go in either direction? Okay, I can. I can kind of wander the castle grounds here. Is there anything anything I need to know about? Uh, some Gaia genes that uh, are not going to be useful to me ever at all now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I don't want to shoe and scram. I want to I want to explore your grounds. They're not going to let me do that. See if leaving gets Gaia to cry about the state of... There we go. Yeah, I figured she'd be pretty sad about all of this. Her voice was tinged with sorrow. This is exactly as I feared. The Lunarians seem to have met the devil. Nobody could come up with cannons like that on their own. They had to... They had to meet the devil. It was deceived him... It has deceived them with a different visage and set them on the path of destruction once more. They're repeating their past mistake, and that mistake is war. The citizens of Atlantis can no longer see themselves. I hope that the Lunarians in the East, the people of Mu, have a good conscience. The newly recovered Earth will once again fall by their weapons. Up, oh. Shambhala's entrance now leads to Mu. Go and check on Mu. Okay, so we've checked on Atlantis. They're getting ready for war. Was that just a loading thing? That was, okay, that was really odd. Okay, so now we're going over to the land of Moo, but it looks like, okay, that's still just a lizard man, so this should be an easy fight. I'm only doing 345 damage. You'll love to see it. Uh, let's go ahead and, all right. All right, we're here at Moo. Let's see how they're doing. They seem a little more peaceful and a little cooler. I like their hand signs. They have tame Triceratopses, though. Are those Lunarian ceratop Triceratopses? That's interesting. Mu formed an advanced seafaring civilization, a massive city-state greatly concerned with the environment. And yet, it was too quiet despite being such a massive city, as if it had been abandoned. Yeah, well, when you don't have movie theaters or good restaurants, people are going to leave for the war zone. So, it's sad times in Mu, but let's try to figure out why. There, there. There, there. Little patronizing head pat. Where did you come from? You should get as far from here as soon as you can. War's about to start. You know what? They have pretty similar names. I will give you that. But my money is on this being an entirely different evil demon altogether. Knowing that now doesn't really help. Well, if only we could read. <laughs> I doubt you'll understand what I'm saying, though. And now I, I, I hear you loud and clear. How long are the chancellors going to hide in the Hall of Assembly? It's frustrating. Yep, just not the president for these times, are you? Okay, if now they're hiding in the Hall of Assembly because you're blocking the stairs. It would be nice of you to get out of the way. Okay, anything cool around here? Eh, sort of. Not really. How, how about you? How are you doing? This is our sacred hall of assembly. Now scram, shoo. I don't think so. I have as much right to be here as anyone. If you'll get these rocks off of the stairs here. Oh, man. Oh, well, I can go up the non-rock stairs. That that also works. But now I'm being foiled by the hallway of... I My character is too fast for his own good. All right. I think I am the elf boy who is here to save you. We're in the middle of an important meeting. Get out. Okay, well, maybe I should make the decisions for you. I'm going to go around to the back entrance hall here. 
Ah, another listening in sesh. Chancellors are gathered in the room and appear to be in heated discussion. The king has arrived. Ah, the king. Have we reached a decision? We have very little time left. I'd like to hear everyone's opinion. We don't have time for opinions. The time to strike is now. We have no other option but to use our <gasps> final weapon. You have to whisper it. It's the law. Give the word for us to use it. Turn the two keys at the same time. Push the big red button. Do it, King. Do it or someone else will. One more chance to treat with Atlantis. Because those guys are definitely listening to reason over there. You know exactly how many emissary corpses have come back to us? I'm tired of seeing corpses. And with conventional weapons, we don't, we don't know if we can defeat the Great Atlantis Army. Well, there is a very wink, unconventional weapon listening in on your on your back end here. Victory is ours if we strike first. Nothing good comes from war. It's all over. All over again. You messed it up all over again. And worst of all, you had to go to another planet to do it. I understand how all of you feel. Our ancestors wandered through space after our exodus from the moon. Yep, the age of dinosaurs is over, and now is the time of Little Man and Fat Boy. We were so surprised at how the planet evolved. How blue! Blue! That's our favorite color! That's the official color of Lunarian society! It's the best color! We are now contaminating this beautiful planet with our corruption. Yeah, I'll say you don't. Oh my gosh, boy. These people, you know what would have saved y'all? Written language. That would have been excellent. Then you could have put two and two together. History repeats itself. Very sad. This is my decision. What is it, King? The fate of this planet belongs to the creatures who have evolved with it. <gasps> he made an enlightened, bold decision. I'm proud of you, King. That means we will leave Moo. And not just Moo, we'll leave the planet. Yeah, <laughs> Leave the planet, there's no nobody to have war with. That's some galaxy brain thinking right there. Well, except for the people who live on the planet and don't have the giant cannons. To the depths of the ocean. This will make certain our corrupt Lunarian civilization disappears. We then hope for the best. All life born, raised, and evolved on this planet, they'll take care of the planet the right way. Yeah, yeah, we, we sure did follow up on that promise. <laughs> uh oh and here come the pretzels oh no it's time to escape to the ships my lord we have to escape but you know what i think we've got time to uh sit and uh oh yeah we better get out of this assembly hall probably it's it's looking bad looks like looks like atlanta has come from the east now to put an end to move with auric halcom uh oh well, yeah, that's that was what Moo did. But yeah, it was Moo's big weapons that opened up the land. Definitely not Atlantis's with their big cannons and their technology that they had no idea about and their... Well, there we go. You were on an unknown beach when you regained consciousness. You decided to sit and wait for the next episode.